so to uh, hi today we are going to discuss about this paper uh, which is titled as do prompt based models really understand the meaning of their prompts uh so nowadays like lot of papers suggest that prompt based models performs very good in few short setting so this paper has the motivation behind has the motivation to inquire about this question whether the models whether the models really understand the prompts or not so i'll directly uh go to the method they used so they used uh, a data set uh, for nli called uh, rt and he, what the rt data set looks like is uh there is premise and there is hypothesis so the model has to predict whether the hypothesis entails the premise or not and the model they used is albert xx large they they uh, also experimented with few of the other models but they found that albert xx large performed the best so they used this for all of their experiments uh so now we know the data we know the uh we know the model so now the prompts like how they define the design the prompts so they designed all of the prompts manually and they have four categories of prompts so instructive means there is a premise there is a hypothesis and are we justified in saying that so it's it's very informative for the humans too so this is instructive category misleading is premise can that be paraphrased as hypothesis can that be paraphrased is not a paraphrasing task so it's it's mis misleading the model so it's categorized as misleading and then in irrelevant there is some irrelevant text here and for null there is no text just just premise and the hypothesis and uh, so for each category they defined at least 5 templates so there is 30 to, uh, 30 templates in total so there are few things uh, there are the multiple graphs which show some results and they are uh, very interesting to see so here in this in figure uh, what they are uh, comparing is com uh, prompt based tuning and traditional fine tuning and these are the number of examples so if we take a pre trained model and then we fine tune it on fine tune it on 3 5 then these many examples graze the uh, performance uh, result this is the result for fine tuning and this is for prompt based tuning so you see that prompt based tuning are very good when the examples are low and when this is the entire data set the performance becomes equal so this is one of the things which they are saying here that while both fine tuning and prompt tuning converge to the same results when fully trained on the entire set uh, prompt tuning yield a uh, dramatic improvement in few short setting uh okay so that was like comparison between prompt tuning and fine tuning now this is about uh, all of the other graphs are about prompt tuning uh so but based on different uh templates so this is the results for instructive and irrelevant and you see if the prompts are instructive and irrelevant they perform the same and but but we assume that uh instructive should be better but it's not so it's interesting to see and this one is uh the green one uh these this uh, the figure 2 was the average result for the instruction temp for the templates this is uh the average for the green is the average for uh the instruct instructive template and the blue and the gray are the worst and the best and the worst performance for irrelevant so they just want to see the variation even one of the irrelevant uh template performs better which is again interesting to see uh this is the comparison between instructive and misleading and misleading should be less and it does performs worse than the instructive uh here like there is one outlier the green is the instructive template all of the misleading performs less than that there is only one outlier which performs better than the instructive template uh so we 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 are done with instructive and misleading this one is for the null 
So in aggregate models trained with null templates learn so slower than the models trained on instructive templates. Um, which is okay. And then uh, these are like there are some different kinds of uh, null uh, templates. So they have some variety over here, but the green one performs better always almost most of the time. So after that, they what they define. So what's the major conclusion from this section? We can see here that the instruction instructive and irrelevant, they don't make any difference. And uh, which we can, uh, which we should take into consideration. And the next experiment they tried was designing different kinds of verbalizers. So they have yes, no, true, false, good, good, bad, you know, some reversed, like this is reversed, this is reversed, some arbitrary, semantically similar, some uh, arbitrary, but they are not similar semantically, some arbitrary, high frequent words, and some high, so they have a bunch of uh, target words. And if you see here in this graph, the yes, no performs the most one of the best results they get it from this yes no and the blue so the better the verbalizers are the better the results are that's what um, we can see here uh, but they also experiment with one more thing like suppose you have irrelevant misleading template but a good verbalizer versus instructive template but some bad verbalizer and what's interesting to see here is if we have, uh, this is the bad verbalizer, right? Uh, so the green one is the bad verbalizer and it performs less, but it has a good instructive. So this, it's like instruction, instructive template, but bad verbalizer. This one is, um, it's like, I think, I think it's miss. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant template plus good verbalizer and the performance difference is huge. So what they are saying here is, um, that misleading that the good verbalizer makes a very b a big impact and this has to be taken into consideration. So uh, you can read the entire paper for more details, but these were the interesting results and uh, that's all for this paper. Thank you.